talk about how emotions have ever gotten away from you and what do you do in those times? Let's take it to real life, right? Well, of course, I've never had an emotional blow up. I mean, never. obviously, <laughs> I'm perfect and, and, and I have never, ever had an issue. Um, yeah, no, that's not the case. Um, there are so many times <laughs> that I wish I could take back. <laughs> and we treat bomb <laughs> now. Here's the real. The reality is, and I'm sure everyone can relate to this. Where so many times, like, oh man, you know, I just could have handled that better. You know, <laughs> like really, hindsight's always just, twenty twenty, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, whether it was being, uh, you know, too mad or too frustrated or too sad or too embarrassed. Uh, but what know, is too, too right? whatever? Yeah, that's a that's, that's a beautiful question, and I know that's a relative term, yeah. right? Um, I think part of it happens to to coincide with a a society that has not helped us understand our emotions, and so we have these perceived um, ideas on how they should look based on movies and most of the time. Or um, on on as we grow up, you know, whether it's parents or teachers or camp counselors or whatever it is, and telling you you should do this or no or don't do that or you know you're too sensitive or you know you're you know you're running everywhere it's too crazy like you know settle down you know all all these things like don't get too excited and or, you know it's like well then what 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 do you want me to like. You know, don't talk. You should just be seen. You know, there's there's a lot of these different things that are out there, and for me, it just it really helped me realize through this process of my own personal growth, if, how much our society has really undervalued emotional management. Yes. Now that I can definitely get on board with. One of the things. When it comes to emotions for me is there's such parts of my information, right? They connect to my imagination. Mm. They inform me of what's going on in my life. And so when I start to suppress them to make others happy, then I'm actually limiting my own potential. Mm. And I don't want to do that. But I also am not here to become the great disruptor so that everyone else can conform to what's going to make my life better. So what is that balance, right? How do we not suppress our own emotions, therefore putting ourselves into this box where we've limited our imagination, we've limited the input that helps us know what... We, in our last podcast, we were talking about knowing our own self-truth so that we become unshakable, right? Well, emotions help us with that. Yeah. How do we not limit that, but we can then become a director of our emotions so that we know time and place and things that are important to become part of a society or a community, just the human collective as a whole, but still be the most authentic representation of what's going on within ourselves. Right? Absolutely. And I think it's important, as you said, we don't learn this. Nobody teaches us this, partly because I don't know that anybody else was taught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we, every human deals with emotions every single day. Why it's not a part of our curriculum for growing up is mind, literally mind-blowing to me. I, I, I can't comprehend it. The more that I think about it, the more I get frustrated. And I'm like, oh, I need to, I need to, <laughs> I need to manage that emotion. <laughs> so need to direct cycle. that somehow. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, it's like I, I, I look back and I'm like, why, why was that? Why was there such an emphasis on the Pythagorean theorem, which I never use in my life? And, and why... What about emotional management? Like how much could that have helped me in so many situations in my life? So many. And this goes for everyone. I mean, a lot of a lot of miscommunication, a lot of confrontation, a lot of conflict is happening because of a mismanagement of emotions. 